Okay, so this movement of substance worksheet 6. So by the end of this, you should be able to determine the net movement of water molecules. Okay, when a cell is placed in a solution of different concentration. We're going to predict how the animal cells will change in the different solution. And then next, we're going to look at uh, how the plant cells will change in the different solution. All of this can actually be found in your notes. Okay, why are we doing this is really just to reiterate a few keywords that you must take note of. So what happens to animal cell in a solution of high water potential? We'll draw it. So let's draw something like this. So what you typically draw is something like this with the contents leaking out. Okay, so this is a very simplified version of this. Okay, now, so how do I, what am I supposed to do to describe, you know, what happens to animal cell? First thing, compare the water potential as typical of any movement or substance question. So we know that because it's in a solution of high water potential, so this outside here has high water potential. Okay, so we are able to identify that. Next thing, because outside is higher, water molecules will move into the cell. Okay, water molecules will move into the cell. Now, do think note of the word net here, so most people always forget the word net movement. Then what is this process? Because it's about movement of water, so it's osmosis. What will this cause? This will actually cause the cell to gain water and swell and burst. Okay, so it's quite simple, straightforward. All this is from your notes. Okay, but why all why do we do this? Because really it's to think of all the little keywords here. Next one, place in a solution. Animal cell in low water potential. So outside is low water potential. So obviously at this time around, you know, water is going to come out. Okay, a bit different from the first one. So comparing water potential, outside has lower water potential. So what this means is that there's a net movement out of the cell. A okay, net movement of water molecules out of the cell. And obviously because it's water molecule movement, this is osmosis. Okay, since the water is lost from the cell, the string, it will string and become this idea called crenated. So crenated is a key term here. Please remember about it. And make sure you know when to use the word crenated. So when you see the spiky, spiky things here, where the animal cell becomes spiky, okay, you use the word crenated. Do take note, this is for the animal cell. Okay, please do not anyhow use the word crenated for any type of cells, okay? It's only when the animal cells have shrunk, it has this kind of spikes here, we call it crenated. Next one, plant cell in high water potential. So outside has high water potential, obviously this time around the water will go in. Now, but what's the difference between animal cell and plant cells? That plant cells has this idea of a cell wall. So the cell wall helps to hold the um, cell in, uh, in place. Okay, it doesn't cause it to burst. So first things first, how, how to explain what happens to it. So we know outside has higher water potential. So there's a net movement of water molecules into the cell. So what process is this? Because it's water molecule movement. This is osmosis. So since we know the cell gain water, it will become what we call turgid. Okay, sometimes the word used is also swell. Okay, now why it doesn't burst? Because the cell wall is inelastic. It will actually hold the cell in structure. Okay, so do take note of this idea here that the cell was inelastic. That's why the cell doesn't burst. Last one. Plant cell placed in low water potential. So this water. Low water potential, so the water will all move out. So if the water moves out, what's going to happen? Okay, I know outside lower water potential, there's a net movement out of the cell. This is via osmosis. So you'll see that it looks something like this. Now, describing this cell, once you see this, now, although it looks a bit spiky, spiky, remember, crenated is only for plant, animal cell. As again, crenated is only for animal cell. So how to describe the plant cell here? The key term here is actually plasmolized. Okay? And because it is no longer turgid, flaccid is actually the opposite of turgid. Okay? So it's no longer turgid, it's now flaccid, means flabby, flabby. Okay? It ends up being plasmolized. So that's for this worksheet 6.